everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I am working on some new projects that I've done for back to school, teacher appreciation, graduation, um, anything that has to do with school, art, that type of thing. So today's video, I have these little crayon boxes that I've done. And I've done some others in the past. I've got one with a heart shape and a star shape, and I'm not sure what all I've done. But I wanted to do an assembly vi video because I don't think I've done a video with it yet. So what you'll get with the boxes are going to be a little different depending on which box you've purchased. But for this one you would get your apple and it's a layered apple. I've already gone ahead and put it together. Um, it has the white shadow background. It's just a really thin white background and if you don't like that you could actually leave it off and just build up on that brown piece that's your stem. It does have the little seeds that are a little bit smaller. The machine will cut them out, no problem, and then you can just glue them on. You could also cut them from vinyl, or you could leave them off if you preferred. So that is your uh, layered apple. You will also have a belly band, and then the actual box. So we're gonna go ahead and put the box together first, and all I'm going to do is I'm gonna score or fold on the score lines away from me or towards the table. You wanna get a good crisp line. I made the tabs on here extra big so that it's sturdy. And you might say to yourself, well, why do I want a crayon box? Because crayons come in their own box. Yes, they do. And you could use it as a crayon box, although it's bigger than a normal crayon box, or you can fill it with all kinds of treats um, or just something fun. Okay, once we have everything scored and folded down, we're going to put glue on all of the tabs except for this top tab because this is your lid. And I am going to go ahead and use my tape runner. I really do prefer to use glue when I'm doing this um, for myself or to give it away. Actually, you know what? We're not going to put tape on those two tabs either. Okay. Anyway, back to I like to use the glue because it just holds a little bit better. But for the video, we're going to use the tape because I don't have to hold it as long. Okay, so once you've got your glue on your tabs, not your top tabs. We're going to turn it over and then we're just going to fold it like this and then fold this side over to match those score lines and press it. Okay, and then we're going to take the bottom and fold those two tabs down, fold the lid over and that tab onto the inside. And it fits, it's a little bit of a snug fit, but that's so things don't fall out of the bottom of your box. Once you get it in there, if you've got a dowel or some type of tool, a pencil even, you could um, run it down in there just to get a good tight adhesion, okay? Then that is all there is to your box. And depending on how you're gonna use your box, you can either have this as the front or the back. It does have the little thumbnail so, so you can open your lid. We're going to use it as the front. And then we have our belly band or our wrap for it. And again, I'm just going to score on the fold lines. This is another really quick project. I love the quick projects because there's so much you can do with them. That you don't have to take a lot of time making them. You get to decorate them using your printed paper, your pattern paper, cardstock, whatever you want. So once we have all those folded, we're going to go ahead and put tape on this tab. And then when I put my bands on, I usually put them around the box and then seal it. Because sometimes if your paper is a certain thickness or something, it's not an exact perfect match. So if you go ahead and put that band on after you've folded your box, you're going to be a lot more happy with it, I promise. So go ahead and just fold those over. That last tab goes on the side and then that tab or the side will come over and cover up that tab. 
And there's our little box. And we're just going to go ahead and put our apple right on there. And you could do it with um, tape or glue. I'm going to use my foam pop dots, my foam tape. He's already pretty thick because of all the layers, but I kind of like it just popped up a little bit for some more dimension. Okay, so add that on there. And then wouldn't that be fun with like a ribbon tied around it or a tag tied onto it? Put any kind of little treat in there that you want for your teacher or your um, student that's going back to school. This would be fun to slip in their lunchbox on that first day so they have a little treat that you're thinking of them. Anyway, that's all there is to that box. Thank you for joining me. I hope you'll hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos and have a great day.